What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out Downtown Disney for the first time in this year. Line today, Sunday. This is the Sunday after they reopen everything, so the lines look a lot longer than usual. Definitely than before, people used to, they used to count like 20 people, some guy said, after they started um, opening up again Downtown Disney, they owned 20 people in and out. Now you have to wait hours on end just to be able to get inside of Downtown Disney. It is insane how long people wait but now with restaurants it's pretty easy you just go you can make reservations on the phone and just head over to the park even in california adventure first time entering finally after how long of waiting let's see what's open oswald's tires oh yeah isn't the five and dime open right i don't know you know what's open it's over there face <laughs> yeah well there's Oswald's. Damn, it has been forever since we've walked in here. Since March, actually. And there's the Five and Dime. Yeah, it's open. I guess they do have stores open here. Well, we'll see as of today of this Sunday what is open and what is not. We're walking down Buena Vista Street. And we're going to see what is open in terms of how far they've extended downtown Disney and California Adventure. So far, they've had a few shops open. Um, Ellis and Co. Are, is open as well as the Five and Dime down there. Oswald Sours is not. I don't know if any of these candy stores are. I know that one's closed. But we're going to see where they extended it to. On that side of um, where it takes you to Soren over California, that side is currently closed as of today. Um, I've seen some people posting that all the way up to the Cars Land sign is open. But they did reclose this area on the side. And we're going to see what else is open. So again, as of right now, the side that takes you to Soren and Grizzly Peak is closed. There are the ropes over there. And that's the smokehouse. But everything else, um, all the way down to that street over there is open. They did extend this area all the way down to the Cars Land sign. So we're going to check that out. Oh, and they did open those gates. So we're going to go see that right now. They do have these little stands open for like things like beanies, ears, shirts, spirit jerseys. Um, but as of otherwise, there aren't too many stores open here in California Adventure. They did have this place open, which is the gates uh, right next to the Avengers Campus, which is really interesting because I can't really wait to see what Avengers Campus ends up uh, coming out to be. It looks really cool in terms of what they have planned out for it. But there's a Cars Land sign. That is all the way where it's open to. And then from there, that is where it's closed. So once again, as of today, you are able to... They extended it all the way up to here and the Cars Land sign, which is really cool. Um, obviously, it's not all the way over there, which isn't the best. But Pixar Pier is right in front of us right there. That sucks that we can't go to see that. But right there. Sadly, it's not open, but this is what they have extended it to. Once again, by the Avengers Campus construction walls, you're able to go in this little area. I have no clue what it's for. They're like little snack stands, I guess. There's a little glimpse of Avengers Campus itself, but otherwise, not really much else to do here. A quick look at some of these uh, Chinese New Year merchandise no, items, uh, these little the stands, and yep. And as of today, you are able to walk down Hollywood, the, yeah, the Hollywood Street, Hollywood Land area. Um, there is that blue sky billboard. And I think you can walk all the way down to the Monsters, Inc. ride, which is really cool. And we'll go see that right now. Off the page is right over there. I guess it is also open. That is interesting. But yeah, here's the walk down Hollywood land. Oh, they even have the lights on for the little theater area. And yeah, this is Hollywood land. Let's see what's, what else is open down on the street. Once again, as of today, off the page is open, which is pretty interesting. I mean, I guess it is another store. So people are able to walk in and get whatever merchandise they want to. This is how far they currently have the street open to. They even have the railway right here. But all the way up to that blue sky billboard, basically, or the big poster on the, the sky. That is the farthest it goes up to as of today. 
It is currently open all the way up to the Monsters Inc. ride. Can't wait for this to open, but here's the stage 17, the store. Enter it right now. Walking over here by the what used to be Rainforest Cafe. Uh, they've actually added some new Star Wars themed um, objects inside of where Rainforest Cafe used to be. They are changing this into some sort of Star Wars trading post or something of that sort. They've added a bunch of antennas around the area and just kind of like being able to do their Disney magic just to get that theme of Star Wars out there. This is the main update we were looking for today. They've added some new panels actually inside. If you see those, the antennas and those panels they place up there. So mainly the satellites and some of the panels they place at the bottom. And that's pretty much the update for Rainforest Cafe, which is turning into a Star Wars training post.